Day three, we have left our hotel in Lima, and we are on our way back to the airport. And then we're gonna fly to Cusco, which is still in Peru. It is nine in the morning, our time, eight in the morning. This time, I should be sleeping. He didn't stop at that stop sign. Cusco! Sounds From like the Emperor's New Groove. Uh, I haven't seen it. What? I haven't seen it. Don't. I watch Star Wars. <laughs> Just be happy with that. Hey Nadine. Hello. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's her username. Did you get your boarding pass? Uh, I never got one of those. That's the call. You didn't get one of those? No. No. Cusco. You have to dance like a llama. I don't, how does a llama dance? You, the, the, kind of like the head bobbing you were just doing, but to the side. It's like, you're the emperor. No, like, oh. you have to turn like a profile to the camera, and then like kind of, your head, yeah. And then you gotta kind of dance, and moonwalk and stuff. I'm not a dancer. I'm Candace. Hi Candace. From Candace Does the World. Like I just plucked my blog. <laughs> oh, that's an actual name of a blog. We might have been making fun of Corey for not having a boarding pass before. Yep. And then it turns out they gave me the wrong boarding pass. Whose boarding pass did you get? Some random person who is part of our tour group, thankfully. Because my luggage is checked under them. We're going to Cusco. And she's going to Cusco, and my luggage is under her name. Goodbye, Lima, but not Peru. Next stop, Cusco. Look at this art. Look at that beautiful depth of field. This camera has uno bar of battery OLED. So you're telling me that there's one bar of battery. That's correct. So you you speak Spanish. Oh, yeah. And I now understand Spanish. Yep. Snack food! Ah, uh, we're alive. We are this high above sea level right now. Right now? Right now. Is that bad? That's really high. You should get some Sorochuki pills. I have I have altitude pills. Good. I haven't taken them yet. We landed in Cusco, the oldest city in America. It's one of the most beautiful places on the planet. When you first come here, you have to climatize and make sure you don't have altitude sickness. So some of the options are having cacao tea and other hotels actually have oxygen tanks, but I think it'll be fine. Oh man, can I get an oxygen tank? Can I get one? That would be so cool. Uh, has a taste. Corey has potato. Potato and tuna. Potato. Who are you? I'm Mike, and I'm having the soup, and the soup is lovely. <laughs> I love the potato, and I love the dog food, and I love being in Cusco. I haven't got any altitude sickness, but this drink is good. The altitude pills that are supposed to make me not feel sick from the altitude are actually making me feel really sick. Oh. And now I feel great for not taking the altitude pills. But I took the pills and I do feel great. Yeah. Well, I guess so everyone wins with maybe. <laughs> when we landed, it was 3,500 meters, which is about 11,000 feet, and now we're we're going higher. See the white Christ. We're being yelled at to hurry up. The bus is leaving. <laughs> The bus is driving all over the mountain, precariously on the edge of a cliff. Now it is raining. Alpaca. Nom 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 nom. This one is short and fluffy. This one kind of looks like Whoopi Goldberg. And this one's a statue. Let's go see more. Look at this alpaca. It's got more food on him than in him. I agree. Hello. Hey. It's like riding a tauntaun. They do the same thing as some chillas. They roll around in the dirt to clean their hair okay. um, because their, their okay. fur is so thick that if it gets wet, it'll never dry ever. They get sick and they die. I know, because when I had long hair, it took forever to dry. <laughs> kind of like imagine, that. It's kind of like that. Onwards. That says coffee. You're actually grinding the yeah. from beans? Coffee, 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 coffee. Oh. We were told that we were not supposed to drink coffee because at high altitudes we're still adjusting. This will accelerate our hearts. <laughs> accelerate our heart even more than it already is yep. because of the thinner oxygen. I'm gonna walk down the mountain with some people. Up here is the town and down there is the uh, market. All the way houses down. And the for to the village. We're walking down there. We're gonna climb these, <laughs> these steps on the edge of a cliff. Isn't the view fantastic? Here is the upper view of some ancient Inca ruins. And that's a cactus. And that's a mountain. And that's a town. And that's Nadine. Inca ruins. Everywhere. Look at this. We got windows that don't go anywhere. More windows. Look at that. Oh, look at that. The sun. 
It's Indiana Jones style. If the sun goes on the wall, that's where you have to push the brick. Brick. This one. Nothing. Super artistic eco ruin shot. You could literally see forever, pretty much down in the valley. We've been alerted to a problem. The problem is that that sun is setting, and when sun sets, it gets dark. And last I checked, these mountains do not come equipped with lights. We have to end up going there. That is the marketplace. We still have all the way down to go. Look at all those sheep being herded. Look at that. I'm gonna see if I can catch up to the sheep. Let's see what I can do. They say you're not supposed to physically exert yourself the first day in high altitude, you know. Whatever, look at that. We're at the very bottom now. This looks just like uh, Hyrule, like the castle center in Hyrule or Karina of Time. Hey! How's it going? It is going well. Excellent. I was playing with a little lamb. Oh, look at the lamb. Did you do half of a walk or how did that work? No, I, cr I, didn't, do, I didn't do all the way down the mountain. Uh, but you didn't do any of it. Well, I, my, my feet went numb, and then my lips went numb. We have potatoes just tossed in on hot coals with rocks. Oh, there's your meat, guys. Oh, oh. Yeah. now we're talking. Then you put straw on the rocks. After the straw, they added plantains and beans and a bunch of stuff. Now they're putting sacks on top. After the sacks, they go plastic. That's dinner. Cut to 30 minutes later, we're unburying our meal. No one can find Cor. He got a little sick, and I think he's just in his room sleeping, but he's missing dinner. I'm sick and probably sleeping. So to prevent altitude sickness, they can recommend these pills for you that you take, which helps your blood and your waters all accustomed to the climate. The side effects of those pills can include nausea. And I'm so nauseous that I feel like taking the pills was worse than what the altitude sickness might have been. So I feel fine. Um, just really, really sick. And I'm just gonna sleep all night, and then tomorrow I'm gonna feel great. Crotto and I and a bunch of people are gonna go ride some horses. Yeah, this place is great. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry if I was lame today. Uh, I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, and, um, yeah. <laughs>